Coming up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Yair Rodriguez and Brian T-City Ortega. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. Ortega is one year his senior. Rodriguez will have a two-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. The mixed martial artist holding a professional record now. 14 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Brian T. City. And now it's Bruce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Yeah! El Pantera Rodriguez! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? And we are underway. Oh, he connects there. Moving well. Good combination. Oh! Body kick, look at that. And now he lands a combination. Oh, straight right. Straight punch. Oh, very nice. He mixes it up with the kicks. How about that shin? Big oh, power in that hook. shot there, Joe. Body kick, look at that. He's starting to land those kicks to the body. Oh, absolutely, Joe. He has stayed committed to the body kicks. Oh, oh, oh big right hand. Beautiful body shot there, too. He's got him hurt here. Midway through round one. Tying up in the clinch here. And he lands a single leg takedown. Moves to half guard, and now he's in full mount. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Tries to pass, but doesn't make it. Both fighters upright. Ortega gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Oh, wow. Look at this. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Ortega gets the takedown. And he connects there. Final minute of round one. Good defense there. Rodriguez gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Doing an excellent job blocking here. T-City gets hit by that kick to the body. These guys are swinging. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Left kick to the body. Good kicks there by T-City, Brian Ortega. Goes right back to that left. He gets the takedown. You ready? You ready? Round two is underway. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast to try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Body kick now by T-City, Brian Ortega. He's doing a very good job of parrying and blocking all the shots that are coming towards his head. Can we show you the total strikes? Right hand upstairs. Left kick to the body. T-City gets caught with that punch. Front kick to the body. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Oh, that's a pretty filthy combination there by Yair Rodriguez. T-City. Wow. Whoa! This could be it right here. Oh, very nice. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, big left. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Absolutely. Rodriguez hook shot there. Looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Nice one-two there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, nice job of avoiding the clinch. Rodriguez gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. He's fainting with that kick. Overhand attempt now. It's blocked by Rodriguez. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh! Man, those... Wow! Place flying knee. Yeah, Joe, devastating is one way to describe it as the knee knockout comes here in this round. And that's a big stoppage win for him. He was very accurate and precise with his strikes here tonight. And particularly when it comes to that knee strike, you don't have to put a ton of mustard on it to get the desired result. And here's the end of the fight. Let's see it from a different angle here. Massive power and torque behind that knee. And as soon as it lands, that is a wrap. Now we go inside the octagon. It is a featherweight matchup between Yair Rodriguez and... There you go, first round, you ready? Are you ready? Let's All right, we are underway here at the home of the UFC, the T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas. Big left hand there inside. Body kick, look at that. Oh, straight right. Oh, a lot of volume here. Good series of strikes there. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Stevens. And he connects there. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Beautiful attack to the body by Rodriguez. Well, Joe kicked to the body, and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. Wow, what a kick. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. Try to establish that jab. Lands a jab. Good job of timing this combination of strikes here. Oh, he connects there. Good defense there. Oh, oh that was a hard one. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. And a nice jab. Oh, 
Whiffs on the straight right hand. Kick to the body by Rodriguez. Lands a giant kick. Oh, very nice. Two minutes to go in round one. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice High kick there. Whoa! He he's got to be careful here. Oh, he might be out. Body kick, look at that. Head kick. Excellent head movement. Big power in those kicks. Left punch is oh. good. Five seconds to go here in round one. Stevens gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Couldn't agree with you more. Second round, straight ahead. Well, he showed off his powerful striking there with a knockdown. Great round from Yair Rodriguez. Big knockdown. Very important, significant damage. Probably won the round. All right, here we go with round two. Starting off this round, you got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. He's fainting with that kick. How about that chin? He's beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He's doing a great job of blocking things here. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Yair Rodriguez. Total strikes. Kick lands. Joe, that is one well-timed overhand by Stevens. Well, this is chopping up a lead leg 101. This is exactly the way you do it as the leg kicks continue to pile up. And you can already start to see his opponent slowing down a little bit. May want to check one of those, bro. Exactly. Oh, beautiful he straight stopped. leg. He's in trouble. Hand speed, man. He is hurt here. All right, back to his feet. But man, is he hurt. Look at him, Joe. Punches block. Oh, big left. Back and forth we go. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we... Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Effective strike there by Yair Rodriguez. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. Oh! Nice. Oh! He hurt him! This could be it right here. on his body. Oh. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh! Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. Big knee to the body. Oh! Oh! And that's the end of round number two.
So there's the horn at the end of the round. He got knocked down just before the horn, so he'll walk back to his corner here. We'll see if they can get him physically, mentally back into the fight. What a moment at the end of that round. And here a big shot lands and a knockdown. And here another big... Brittany Palmer with us tonight. Third round underway. That last round was absolutely insane. If this round gets off to anything like the last round, one of these guys is going out. I can't imagine. Oh! oh, he might be out. This could be it. He's hurt. Look at him getting up. Oh, Luzi. All of those are blocked. Watch the shot here, Joe. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. All right, so he continues to land strikes here, Joe, but just not doing a lot of damage because... Oh, he oh, oh he hurt him. He's checking every single one of those. Excellent defense here. Really good job blocking all those shots coming at his head. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. So clock starting to become a factor here. He's blocking almost all these shots. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Stevens. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Wow! He tagged him! Oh, that is it! Outstanding! Straight punch for the win. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Joe landed flush, and I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so he was looking for it here tonight. And here's the end. Let's take a look at that again. Now we go inside the octagon. Brute. 